If you guys are looking for super cheap, fast, and reliable Madden 21 coins, look no further than my sponsor, MuttReserve.com. Coins are currently discounted, guys. They got 24-7 support. They're super awesome to work with. Head on over. Use code Poodle for an additional 15% off your order. What's going on, guys? It's Poodle back with another Madden Ultimate Team video, guys. Today, I'm going to be doing a lineup update. A lot of you guys have been asking, what team am I rocking with? Who am I going into Weekend League with, guys? Now, currently, I'm undefeated in Weekend League. I'm 2-0. Pretty much on pace to just pretty much on pace to be number one in the world this week. But until then, don't take me seriously, by the way. I'll probably end off like 15 wins. But anyways, heading into the squad here. Our team's looking decent. I don't want to say it's a guy's squad. It's not amazing, but it works for me. Now here's the thing. In the past years of Madden, in terms of like, see, I'm I'm spending money this year, but I'm not spending as much as some other people per se. I don't overdo it so the thing with my team is that i have to be work more on a budget even though i do spend money just even then you stuff work on a budget trust me um the thing is i've learned from past maddens what i pretty much run on offense i know what i like to do so i don't like to go overkill and buying players that i'm just not going to use so i'm gonna go into guys like my team is 86 overall but not really doesn't play like that now i do need abilities though that's a that's a given i need abilities but i'm just i'm kind of broke right now and i don't want to spend more money at this moment i may have to pick up some coins i haven't decided yet i'm waiting for a good bundle to come out so i can open it for you guys for a video and then get some coins in the process but for the meantime guys we're a little low on the coins but we're gonna go check out the team show you guys what i've been working with for weekend league and honestly, most of you guys probably have better teams, so if I'm doing pretty good, you guys should be doing even better. But let's head into this, guys. Before we get into the video, though, make sure to subscribe, turn on the notification bell, boys. Come join the family. Make sure you give this video a big thumbs up, as always. What team overall you guys are, and that's about it. Let's get into the lineup. I went through positions because the thing is, I want to talk about each guy as I go through for why I do have them where they are. Now, I'm not going to go into the stats. You guys should know that already. I'm just going to show you guys why I have who I have. So, Lamar Jackson. I'm going to be honest with you. Why do I have Lamar? Because he's mobile and he's free. Now, I'm going to be honest. I did notice his throw power feels a little bit weak. Honestly, I think my offense would be a little bit better with a strong arm quarterback. I have noticed in the past years that I think I play worse with a mobile quarterback because I think read, read, run instead of read, read, react, throw. Like, you know what I'm saying? Like, I go through like one or two reads and then I just run a run with the ball knowing I have that option. When I don't have that option, I play a lot more safer and make solid reads um, knowing I, I can't just escape when I want to. So I may go Mahomes in the future, but for now, Lamar is free. It would be dumb not to use him now. We got Bo Jackson. I'll be honest with you guys again. I don't really like Bo Jackson. I think Barry Sanders is a superior back, but the issue is I bought Bo for like 700k, and Barry Sanders is like almost a million coins. Now Bo's down to like 500, 450. So now it's like I, I'm stuck with Bo. Now I'm not a big fan of power backs, honestly. Like I think I play better with certain power backs, but Bo's just too bulky. Like I'm not gonna. I feel like he just gets a lot of tackle. I feel like he gets tackled easier. I feel like he struggles to get through little holes. I need a little tiny back. I need a little Clyde. That's a little bit faster. A Bo solid, guys. Now, fullback, I haven't really touched this year yet, but now these are my receivers. Tyreek Hill, Andre Johnson, Tyler Lockett. Now, this is what I was referring to is you might say, why don't I have, you know, uh, Julio Jones? Why don't I have Brandon Cooks? First off, they're crazy expensive. Second, the way I play Madden is very simple. I don't throw contested catches for the most part. I don't, because in ultimate team, they just, it's hard to catch contested catches. I don't do contested. I throw open. I do, I burn people. I throw little, little quick routes and stuff like that. So, the way I play, I don't need anyone crazy. I need one thing. I need Tyreek Kill. I need a second speedy guy. And then Andre Johnson could be that guy. Like, if I see him open, I'll contest the throw to him if I have to. But Andre Johnson's free, so I'm going to rock with him for most of the year, probably. Uh, and that, the other thing is there's no receivers that really pique my interest right now, like, that I really think I need. But who, Tyreek gets it done. The way I run my offense is, like, two routes, very simple reads, uh, very easy to do. I throw to my running back a lot. So it's fine for me. Now, tight end was a tough one. Now, would I prefer Jermichael Finley? Yes. But Jonas Smith has an 84 speed. He's one of the fastest tight ends that we have in the game right now. And he's pretty solid. I honestly think he's really good. I don't mind having him. And for the most part, he gets the job done. Now, lineman is where I, I got I to gotta improve here. So we got left tackle Trent Williams. That's solid. At left guard, we do have Quentin Nelson, which I need to improve. But again, low on coins. Center, we got Jason Kelsey for my run game, which I think was super important. Uh, right guard, we have Larry Allen, which, of course, run game super important. Now, right tackle is brutal. I did just power down my Lane Johnson, which is hurting me for sure. My right tackle is super, super weak. I definitely need a better O-line, but again, I need more coins to pick up that O-line, and I had to work on my defense. But the defense is where I really feel like my team is really doing well right now. Uh, I don't have a left end. I'm using two right ends, actually. So we got Miles Garrett and Aaron Donald and Yannick Ngaku. We got three, actually. So Miles Garrett is my right end because I want his abilities and everything active. So I have him there, right end. Super great on the outside. Aaron Donald, I moved to left end, and then Yannick Ngaku, I put a defensive tackle now. I don't put him at defensive tackle all game, guys. For the most part, I only keep him there on passing downs because on passing downs against the right guy, he's going to have that great, he has great finesse move. Now, is power move more important in the middle? More than likely, yes. But 
my oh what I was also doing guys which is another thing uh if I want to do a full game scheme what I'll do is I'll put Aaron Donald at the defensive tackle instead of put uh Yannick Ngakwe on the edge because on the edge 92 finesse move and then Aaron Donald literally is built like a defensive tackle that's just super athletic so I kind of like these three as my three uh down linemen and then I also have Merlin Olsen as my next guy so that kind of sums up the whole line right there my line does really well honestly I really do like them uh not bad at all now moving on more towards the outside linebacker spots I do have Khalil Mack who I think I'm gonna sell I haven't used them I haven't used them once he has not played for me because the way I use a big nickel scheme which typically has four guys rushing uh so that leaves me with we have Merlin Olsen Garrett Yannick and uh Donald Khalil Mack doesn't come in I have a safety outside linebacker pretty much there's no use for him now. I think I'm going to sell him, guys. Take that easy 180,000 coins back. Don't need him right now. Not using him at all. Take those coins and then go on ahead and be able to maybe pick up some linemen or just start saving up coins because we're, we're, we're crazy broke. Middle linebacker, guys. I love these two guys. Devin Bush and Patrick Queen just get the job done. They fill the holes. They fill the speed. I've been waiting on Sam Mills. I've been getting his stuff slowly. Kind of upgrade him all at once and just throw him on the team when he's ready. But I think I'm fine with Devin, uh, Devin Queen and uh, Bush because only one really plays. And I'll get to that in just a second. No right outside linebacker. Don't use one. Again, guys, what I'm saying. So people might think, oh, okay, so I need a right outside, a left outside, two defensive tackles. No, that's just for your overall. Realistically, if you know how you, if you know how your formation subs work, you don't need everyone. And that's like unless you have a guy squad, just pick up what you need. But for me, I don't use my outside linebackers. I use middle linebackers. I use safeties. So what I did was I picked up multiple backs. So like I have Byron Jones, Aeneas Williams, Travis White. Travis White I got for uh, the set. And he's honestly pretty good. He plays pretty well for me. He's a third corner. Anise Williams is my captain. And then Byron Jones is just, he's a stud, guys. Byron Jones is a monster. That speed, jumping, athleticism, zone combo is just deadly, guys. I highly recommend you pick up Byron Jones. And moving on to free safety, this is where, oh, I clipped him, punter. This is where I think things really get good for me. So Steve Atwater is insane. He plays really, really great. And I really like him. But this is why I have multiple safeties because of the linebackers. And this is where I have Tyron Matthew and Isaiah Simmons. Now, who do I play at strong safety? Um... Honestly, neither. So Tyron Matthew, I play more as a cornerback uh, in the box. Like one of those like box outside cornerbacks for multiple reasons. Because that zone, that zone in the midfield right there is deadly. Isaiah Simmons, I play as a linebacker. So Isaiah Simmons comes down. And then what I do is I move Atwater up to uh, safety, which he's already there. I move him up to the right side, strong safety. And then Tredavis White plays my free safety. It's been a pretty solid method. Now, I didn't choose it. They kind of put him in there. And I kind of like that Tredavis White's been eating there. Now, what I might end up doing... I definitely want to keep Matthew at either cornerback because he has he gets the man and he gets the zone threshold as you guys can see right here if I do do it. Uh, he gets the man and zone threshold I believe. Or you, uh, let's see right here. So he gets he gets the zone threshold and he's super close on man. All I got to do is power him up and get the lockdown up a little bit more. So I feel like that's good enough to play as a uh, as a middle linebacker esque. And trust me, they've been great. I've been getting tons of picks. And then Isaiah Simmons is my user of course because that speed, change of direction, height. Trust me, I've been getting crazy picks with him. So I don't recommend following my scheme. Again, I play a big nickel scheme. That's how I kind of run my defense. Is that the most competitive ebook way? Probably not, but that's the way I know how to play it. Which I actually am sponsored by EliteMadden.com. Guys, if you do need ebooks and you want to get better and learn a scheme similar, go over to EliteMadden.com. Use code Poodle at checkout to get coached by guys like Joke, uh, Drag, and all those other competitive Madden players. But for me personally, I haven't had the time to learn the ebooks. I, this is our first weekend league. If I went in with a new ebook, I'm going to get destroyed. I'm trying to learn myself and kind of go through get a feel for the game before I go ahead and learn all that stuff. But if that's what works for you guys, go ahead and do that. But I wish you guys the complete lineup. The complete lineup right here, guys. Obviously, the offense is decent. That's not anything great. We need a better right uh, right tackle and left guard. Then the line will be pretty, pretty good. And then, of course, we could always work on some other stuff. But offensively, this works for me. I run the ball a lot. I make simple reads. Don't need too much on offense. And then defense is where I make most of my big plays. Now, what I do need to work on, guys, in my opinion, would probably just be some abilities, move some guys around. Uh, sell Khalil Mack and probably pick up another cornerback at some point or or instead go ahead and just make sure I put Aaron Donald at the right end spot like by switching his position to defensive tackle or end and then getting him on the right spot of the line so his stuff uh, his camps and everything can uh, go through and then maybe pick up another middle linebacker that's better but for now the speed just great on Devin Bush maybe Junior Seau but again long coins guys better for the video I hope you guys did enjoy today's lineup update if you wanted to see more like this uh, comment down below let me know let me know what your team overall is down below make sure to subscribe comment and turn on the notify bell, boys. Make sure to smash the like button now. I know it's not the craziest team, but I feel like you guys in, in the past have told me that you guys actually appreciate my lineup updates more than like a God Squad because it relates more to you guys, I guess. You guys have said that it looks good to see a team that actually like has decent uh, budget players on there that has to rock on. I mean, yeah, I've spent money, but again, I'm not like that crazy 10 million coin God Squad that's just undeniably like, oh, it makes you feel bad about your team. 
But that's about it, guys. Hope you did enjoy. If you're into the channel, like I said, I already said what I have to say. If you need coins to pick up any players to update your god squad, go down below to martreserve.com. Coins are currently discounted. Make sure you use code Poodle for an additional 15% off. Last but it, guys, I'm out. Peace.